youthful offenders out. He's fighting uh, uh, to overturn laws in Congress. Charleston White was somebody that I believed in. You always had his back. What the hell happened? I'm going to tell you what happened with the 666 in the building. I went on Queens Flip. And I did an interview with Queens Flip. Shout out to Queens Flip. I haven't been on Queens. This is my third interview on Queens Flip. And Charles White came up. And I said, at this point, I can't stand behind Charleston White with the I'm raping white women. I am a I am somebody that stands out against rape, child victims. This is what I stand for. And I tried to justify over and over and over some of the foulest things that Charleston White did. I had his back all the way. I built his platform. Most of the people that keep following Ch Charleston White, I pushed this audience on him. Believing in him and his message for black people. But throughout the time, it's like when you watch the movie The Matrix, right? And you watch Neo. You see when Neo get in the situation and when 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 the, when the China man swung on Neo, Neo, he apologized first. Then he started fighting him. At the end of the fight, the China man told him. He said, "You never know a man until you fight him." So now we're going to examine and we're going to listen to the real Charleston White who he really is, what he stands for. So I just want to see how long we can go, go like, the Haitian Cowboy is all talk, y'all. I've been, I've been fucking with the boy for about a year now. I've been fucking with the boy for about a year now. That Haitian Cowboy is all talk. That's one thing I know about the boy. The boy is all for talk. He all talk. He do all his goddamn talking, bashing this, bashing that. But when he get through talking, he can't point to nothing he done done in the community. I got 12 years, 365 days time 12, nigga, where I can point. Hey, I do this. I do that. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Hey, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. That nigga can't do none of that. He just be online huffing and puffing and huffing and puffing, but he huffing and puffing. He can't blow no house down. No, all that's hot air. Hot air and steam. It ain't no. First and foremost, right? Every move that I make, I don't post on the internet. But since y'all talking, Hassan Campbell is all talk. I raised foster kids. One specifically was raised to adulthood, went to high school and graduate and now going to college. If I could save one kid, like Allah says in Islam, if you save one life, it is as if you saved the life of all mankind. I put one child that wasn't mine through college, through high school. Has Charleston White ever done that? Have any of you in my comment section talking about Hassan Campbell has never put in work? Mm -hmm. See, I don't put my personal business out there because the internet tried to use my personal business to defeat me by calling ACS, child welfare, BC debt, whatever, whatever child welfare system, y'all done sent them to my house. So I don't tell you what I do because every move that I make, y'all try to destroy me. Yeah, the enemy outside on the other side of this camera. But... I say this to all you suckers that fell for the okie doke just like I fell for the Charleston White okie doke. Y'all fell for Pookie. Charleston White told you that he been doing for the community, right? He told y'all that he told me to come to Texas. 
I'm sorry. I couldn't make it to Texas. You know why? Because I had to worry about Amani graduating high school and now graduating high school at the same time. You know where I was at? While my wife was out bossing her ass working, I was taking care of my children. If I was out there in, in Texas, right? Where's the footage? Because people get to tell you stupid mother. Y'all you, you, fall for anything. If you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. Show me the footage of Charleston White at the schools that I was supposed to be at. Show me the pictures of Charleston White at these events. So he told you he doing all this and y'all fell for it? And you fell for it. Where's the proof Charleston White is doing all of these events for the people? You want to know the real Charleston White? Just keep listening to him. Force behind his win. No, no. Hey, son. Hey, son. Campbell, all talk, nigga. You know I know it. Now, you, you, now, I tried to throw you at the hoop, sucker. Say, come on down here, homie. I got this school here. I got this school here. And even with, even say with FBG, Doug Mama, what I call you, homie. I said, say, homie. Don't nobody got to know this. She need help paying her car note. You done disrespected her public. Now, I've been paying her car note, homie. You want to go half with me this month? You said, yeah, my nigga. And I called that woman. I called FBG Doug Mama and said, hey, man, me and her son going to go half on your car note this month. You never came forward, nigga. I went through. I went through. Hey, son, Campbell, you all talk, sucker-ass nigga. I even tried to get you to come down here and work with the kids that's been molested, nigga. The now, anybody that did their homework, that's been following me, and know about me and um, uh, 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 FBG Duck's mother, me and FBG Muck Duck mother was beefing because she sent Jojo Capone on me. Me and Jojo Capone, the gangster from Chicago that really gets busy, was going at it with each other over her. So as far as me paying her car note, after she sent soldiers at me, but she ain't send not nigga, not one nigga to deal with Muwap and them dudes that executed her son in downtown Chicago, left him dead in the street. Matter of fact, he was alive, bleeding out on the floor. She ain't sent soldiers at them. She sent them at me. So now nah, I wasn't paying her car note. But on that note, are y'all listening? On that note. So Charleston White. Just got on the internet and told everybody on the internet that he paid FBG Duck's mother car note and just humiliated her. See, I was taught in Islam from a loss upon what the Isla. When you do good for people, you don't brag about it. You don't put it out there because the reward for doing good is supposed to come back. From Allah Almighty. I was taught from Allah upon with the Isla that on the day of judgment, Allah will say to the people that said, I did good in your name, He will say to them, No, you didn't. You did good so that the people could say that you did good. This is why when I do things for the poor or when I do things for children, I don't tell y'all about it because my blessings come from a lost partner with the Isla, not you. But all over social media, Charleston White just humiliated FBG Duck's mother by telling everybody that she couldn't pay her car note. How real is that? But y'all not still you're still not paying attention. So we're gonna go, we go, we go, we gonna make we gonna make love to this slow. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna let him destroy yourself. The little boys that have been ransacked in the ass. I tried to get you to come talk to the boys that have been ransacked in the ass too, nigga. You didn't want to do that. I say because you know the killers. You know most of these killers been ransacked in the ass. Come talk to the pain of these niggas that's been molested, my nigga. 
Because when you open up the capital murder files, when you open up these files that you work on these death penalty cases, you find out that all oh, most these niggas that run around here killing been ransacked in the ass like you, nigga. That's why you was a killer. Your ass been ransacked. I so once again now, this right here ain't for the immature. This is for the this is for the mature audience. This is for the people that really stands for the community. So Charleston White, remember, this is not the dirty section of YouTube. This is the advocate right here. This is the child victim's hero right here talking about all the boys that got ransacked in the ass. This is how he refers to the same community that he's supposed to be a hero in. But y'all still don't see through this crackhead. Y'all can't see that there's puppets behind Charleston White that cleaned this crackhead up and figured out how to make a dollar out of this comedian. See, what y'all got to understand is I had it wrong. When I first, when Charleston first came out, I told y'all to accept him because he's just playing a role so that he can help more children. Show me the children that he's helping. I had it wrong. He was really a really, he was really an angry crack, crackhead. Allegedly. That was mad at everybody else because he was homeless and on drugs. Out of his own mouth, he told y'all that he was homeless. And everybody shitted on him while he was smoking crack. So now, after me telling everybody and, and vouching for this dude. Yeah, he's in character. So when he heard me say that, yeah, I'm in character. I told y'all, it's like Tupac. Nobody wanted to listen to Tupac when he put out Brenda Had a Baby. So he came back later on. We hit him up. With Machiavelli. Now he's the biggest rapper ever. But all along, Tupac always stood for his people. But when you listen to this nigga right here, you keep on listening to him. Don't let a person tell you what he's doing. Let him show you. But no killer. I will play and kill him. Fuck, man. Yeah, no, nah, man. I, I'm sick of you, nigga. Everybody switch. I ain't switched up yet. My tune ain't changed. I came in acting like this. I came in talking like this before I came to the internet. Before I came to the internet. I was talking like this. Yeah, before I came to the internet, I was talking like this. When you go look at all my old Facebook videos, I was talking like this. No, man. Nigga, when you... Now, I invited you down here four different occasions. Hasten Campbell, Muslim Boy, New Yorker, and fuck your nigga, Matt Hopper, and fuck his babies too, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga, fuck your babies, nigga. Yeah, nigga, fuck your babies, nigga, and your bitch too, nigga. I'm a very disrespectful nigga when I want to be disrespectful towards some I deem worthy of disrespect. Yeah, suck ass. I just got a question for y'all, right? What did Math Hoffa do to Charleston White? You know what he did? He asked me to invite Charleston White to come on this platform to do something for the kids. This is Charleston White's response. F Math Hoffa and F his kids. And then he said, F my kids too. What did my kids do to Charleston White? The only thing I did was tell Charleston White, I can't stand behind him bragging about raping people. And this was his response to me. I didn't disrespect um, Charleston White. Now, one time, I had Charleston White's back this whole time he's been on the internet, promoted him on all of my channels, did reactions to all his videos, and then he turns around and says, F math half of children and F my children. What did my kids do to him? What happened? What y'all not paying attention? I'm a 
different kind of monster you niggas ain't never seen before. I ain't the boogeyman, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Yeah, 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 nah, I'm a different kind of monster, nigga. And I'm a Solo Johnson kind of nigga. And I go out in my community, her son. Something you can't do, boy. Them New York niggas will around sack your ass like Bambada used to do you. You go outside, nigga. I'm outside every day popping my location where I'm from, nigga. You can't do that, Hasten. You can't do that, Hasten. I can. Every day, nigga, I can drop my location and show where I'm at because I'm a real life motherfucking superhero. Hasten, you ain't. You an internet hero. Oh, so I guess you didn't just see me. Though one of the biggest parties in New York City. Oh, you wasn't watching Saturday when I was outside with all the killers that don't like you. You know that crew that come from Castle Hill, from Salem, you the Bronx? The sex, the sex money murder, you know, remember Hocus 4 Fifth? Right. You disrespected Hocus 4 Fifth kids. And I didn't see that video. I knew you had a problem with them, but I didn't see you disrespecting Hocus kids. And this is why I can't stand next to you. Because these babies that you're disrespecting, these are my nieces and nephews. Hocus is my brother. Math Hoffa didn't do nothing to you. That's my brother. Big Pun didn't do nothing to you. DMX didn't do nothing to you. Nipsey Hussle didn't do nothing to you. Keep on talking, Brother Charleston. Let's show the people who you really are. Nigga, you these niggas, these niggas who don't even live in your city love you, nigga. Nobody from my city speaks on me, nigga. Hasten, motherfucker. Hasten, motherfucking boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hasten doing all nigga. Fuck you, hasten. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I ain't never had the anger of a killer. I, I yeah, when I when I, I've been working as a criminal defense litigation specialist. I done partnered with attorney Mitch Loki. I done partnered partner with Shannon Rose, one of the top litigation specialists in the whole entire state of Texas. I know how most killers that had their ass sack like y'all boy. You was a killer, he was a killer, and he was a killer. Most killers been molested. <laughs> Come on, don't be a hypocrite. When you have beef with people, you talk about their kids and their parents. No, stop lying. When I had beef with somebody that made fun of me being molested, I talked about one nigga's kids on this internet, and that's when I, the first time I got on the internet. So stop following suit of everybody else. One time, maybe twice of dudes, maybe twice of dudes that violated me and made fun of me being molested. Niggas that I had beef with because they talked about my children and made fun of my children and called my children retarded. So in return, I said something about this, because if you kill my cat, then I'll kill your dog. Next. Ass, and had an ass ramming. <laughs> if nothing else, they done had uh, a nigga put that bell head up against their rectum. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never had no such, I can't relate. Yeah, yeah, I relate to the well-to-do kids wanna be gangster, wanna be gangster ass niggas. I ain't gangster. Fuck you talking about. When I realized what done happened to most gangsters, I said shit, no, nah, that didn't happen to me. Uh -uh. I played the flute. I, when I was in third grade, I played the flute. <laughs> I just yeah, I feel yeah, I was yeah, yeah, playing the flute. <laughs> Little boy blue played the flute. When I was in third grade, I joined the band. I wasn't a football player. I was a bandmate. Yeah, I played flute. <laughs> yeah, them football playing niggas had been getting rammed. So they wanted to ram folk. Boom, hit a nigga hard. Because they've been secretly getting their ass rammed by some old perverted grown person with a grown man dick. That's what been happening to them, boy. That happened to me. Sitting there, no such thing happened to me, fella. Yeah. So now, because it never happened to him, He's going to disrespect all of the children 